Bwana Yesu asifiwe na wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu na wakaribisha wakati huu ili tukaweze kumwabudu Bwana. Mungu wetu ametupea nafasi nyingine ya kuweza kumwabudu, ya kuweza kumuinua maana yeye ni mwema. Siku ya leo tunakiri ya kwamba tuakupa sifa ewe Bwana, tunakupa sifa ewe Mungu wetu, maana hatuna Mungu mwingine wa kumwabudu ila ni wewe tu Bwana. Inua tu mikono yako kwa Yesu tunapomwabudu Bwana. Haleluya. Yeye ni mwema anastahili sifa. Anastahili heshima. Hakuna kama Mungu wetu. Inua tu sauti yako kwa Yesu mwambie kwamba apokee sifa za moyo wako. Yeye ni Mungu anastahili sifa. Hakuna kama yeye. Yeye ni Mungu wa miungu. Hakuna kama Mungu wetu.
have been a caring father. We worship your name. We worship your name, Lord. We give you praise and all the glory, for there is none like you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We lift our voices to you, Lord. We say you are God alone. There is none like you, Jesus. Tunakuwa bote mungu wetu. Hakuna wakufana na na wewe. Hakuna wakuringa nisho na wewe, boy. Wewe ni mungu mwenye nguvu zote. Wewe ni mungu mwenye neema yote. Tunakuheshimu siku ya leo. Tunakuwa budu bani. Tuasema you are the Alpha and Omega. There is none like you, Jesus. We have no other God but you. You have been a faithful father. We worship your name, O oh God. We bless your name. We worship you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. We worship you, Lord. We lift our voices to you. You are the Lord of lords. There is none like you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. Hakuna 
Tunamtukuza maana yeye ni Mungu mwema tunaenda kumsifu tunaenda kumpa sifa zetu maana anastahili sifa za mioyo yetu makofi ya juu kwa Yesu tunasema uinuliwe Mungu wetu Cheza tu kwa ajili ya Yesu
this morning we worship you, Father. We just simply want to worship you. We say you are worthy to receive all our praise. Receive all the glory, Master. Receive all the honor, Master. Oh, riches and honor belongs to thee. Oh, Koyamo so kondala masira bokota. Oh, Yamo so kondala masira bokondala makate. He kaposhe kondala masira bokondala makate. You are God above you, there is no other God. You are El Shaddai, you are El Shaddai. You are El Shaddai, you are the Almighty God. You are El Shaddai, He kaposha kondala masoka. He kaposha kondala masira bokondala makota. Above you there is no other God. Above you there is no other creator. Oh, we worship you this morning, Father. In the spirit and the truth, oh God. Oh, we worship Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord, for you have forgiven me all my sins. You have healed all my diseases. You have delivered my soul from destruction. You have renewed my strength like an eagle, O God. O Koyamo so kondala masira bo kondala makate. O Yamo so kondala makande. They that wait upon you shall renew their strength. We shall mount up with wings like eagles, O God. We shall run and walk and never faint and never be weary. Glorious Father, glorious God. O Yamo so kondala masira bo kota. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Lifting up our holy and said one. Singing, singing, oh the Lord Jesus, you are Jesus. Confess His name, King of Kings. You are Jesus, oh Jesus, oh. Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Let's give him an applause. Just say thank you, Jesus. I say let's give him an applause. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can sit in the presence of God. Well, this is the day the Lord has made. And we are supposed to rejoice and to be glad in it. I want to ask you kindly, let nothing stop your joy. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. I want to assure you today, when you rejoice in the Lord, you'll be stronger and stronger. You are not a weakling. You are not a failure. You are a child of God. If you are, can you raise up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Because the Bible says, what manner of love is this? That God has bestowed unto us to be called sons of God. So today we are going to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. We we'll read in Jesus' name. We better stand up and honor the word of God. Our 
I'll read. Tesoma. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Angalieni nimeweka inchi mbele enyu. Ingeni mkaimiliki inchi bwana alio wapia baba zenyu, Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo, kwamba atawapa na uzao wao baada yao. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. We can sit down please. Naweza kukaa chini. Remember faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Kumbuka imani huja kwa kusikia na kulisikia neno la Mungu. In other words faith is in the word. Kwa maana mengine imani iko ndani ya neno. It is not outside the word of God. Imani haiko nje ya neno la Mungu. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Imani huja kwa kusikia na kusikia neno la Mungu. I want to share you the heart of God. Nipenda kushiriki nanyi moyo wa Mungu. Especially this time and this hour and this year. Hasa wakati huu saa hii na mwaka huu. Because God is talking to each one of us. Maana Mungu anazungumzia kila mmoja wetu. That behold I have set before thee a very good land. Tafadhama nimeweka mbele yenu nchi iliyo nzuri. He saying behold I have set before you a good land. Anasema tazama nimeweka mbele yako nchi nzuri. Remember when God says he has set a very good land before you. He means exactly what he says. Mungu akisema nimeweka nchi nzuri mbele yako anamaanisha hasa kile amesema. Because the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Maana Biblia inasema kila kipawa kizuri anachema kinashuka kutoka kwa baba wa miango. Remember God is our father, God is our giver. Kumbuka Mungu ni baba yetu na Mungu ni Mungu wa kutoa. And he will never deny you anything good. Na hata kunyima jambo lolote ambalo ni nzuri. As long as you are a child of God, God will give you the best. Mradi wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu, Mungu atakupatia kilicho bora. So for the children of Israel. Kwa hivyo kwa wana wa Israeli, God had promised them. Mungu alikuwa amewaahidi. He had promised Abraham, Isaac and Jacob alikuwa ameahidi Abrahamu, Isaka na Yakobo that is taking them to a very beautiful land. Kwamba anawapeleka kwa inchi maridadi. Is taking them to a very rich land. Anawapeleka kwa inchi iliyo jaa utajiri. Is taking them to a very fertile land. Anawapeleka kwa inchi imejaa rotuba. Is taking them to the land of bounty. Anawapeleka kwa inchi ya utele. Where they will lack nothing good. Mali hawatakosa kitu kizuri. Because God is good. Maana Mungu ni mwema. And once he promises you something he will give it to you. Na wakati kwaidi kitu atakupatia but you see you must learn how to believe lakini lazima ujifunze jinsi ya kuamini you must know how to take god by his word lazima ujifunze kumchukua mungu kadri ya neno lake god can speak every day every month every year mungu anaweza kuongea kila siku kila mwezi kila mwaka if you are not a keen listener lakini kama wewe sio msikilizaji mzuri and if you don't apply the word of god in that situation in your life na kama ulitumia neno la mungu katika hali yako ya maisha yako it will never come to pass haitatimia But when you take God by his word. Lakini unapomchukua Mungu kadri ya neno lake. And do exactly what the Bible says. Na ufanye hasa kile Biblia inasema. I want to assure you by the grace of God you'll get the best from God. Nataka kuhakikisha kwa neema ya Mungu utapata kitu bora kutoka kwa Mungu. And I want you to have this thought. Nataka ukuwe na hayo mawazo. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. I say God loves you. Nasema Mungu anakupenda. It doesn't matter who doesn't love you God loves you. Haijalishi ni nani akupendi Mungu anakupenda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this stick in your spirit. Wacha ikwame ndani ya roho yako. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. Haijalishi kinachofanyika karibu na wewe. I want to assure you you are going somewhere. Nataka kuhakikishia unaenda mahali. And by the grace of God you are going to make it. Na kwa neema ya Mungu utafika. I am a prophet of God and I'm an apostle of God and I'm telling you exactly what God says concerning his children. Mimi ni nabii wa Mungu, mimi ni mtume wa Mungu na nakwambia hasa kile Mungu anaambia watoto wake. When God spoke to Moses, he meant exactly what he meant. Mungu alipomzungumzia Musa, alimaanisha kile alichomwambia. And he was telling him to take the children of Israel to the land of of, of Canaan. Na alikuwa anamwambia apeleka wana Israeli katika nchi ya Kanaani. And now he comes and he says behold I have set the land before you. Sasa anakuja anawaambia tazama nimeweka And I want to assure you good things have been said before you. Nataka kuhakikisha mambo mazuri yamewekwa mbele yenu. Blessings have been said before you. Baraka zimewekwa mbele yako. Healing has been said before you. Uponyaji umewekwa mbele yako. Prosperity has been said before you. Ufanisi umewekwa mbele yako. Every good and perfect gift has been said before you. Kila kipawa kizuri anachema kimewekwa mbele yako. If God has set these wonderful things before us, what are we supposed to do then? Ikiwa Mungu ameweka hivi vitu vizuri mbele yetu, tunapaswa kufanya nini? It is not man 
man or the devil has put all these wonderful things before you, my brother. I want you to have faith in God. Faith in God can change your destiny. Faith in God can change your family. Faith in God can change your situation. It is God who is saying, Behold, I have said before you. A very good land. A very fertile land. Full of bountiness. That is what God is talking to us today. But he is asking us one thing. He is saying, Go in. He is saying, Go in. Not God to go in, it is you to go in. It is me to go in. When we enter inside, Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 9, I am the door of the ship. Anybody who comes through me, number one, shall be saved. And I want to assure you, salvation is through Jesus Christ. God wants you to go in and be saved. God wants you to come in and be delivered. And Jesus said you will go in and come out and find pasture. And I want to assure you the best door is Jesus Christ. The door to your prosperity is Jesus Christ. The door to your success is through Jesus Christ. The door to the good pasture and blessing is through Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Once we discover that, we shall rest in Christ. When we realize that, we shall ever rejoice in the Lord. When we discover this, we will never be frustrated, human beings, and miserable and sad through life. So God tells Moses, Take, tell my children to go in and to possess the land which I swear to their fathers Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob. Na Jacob. Remember God is not a man that he should lie. It's not a son of a man that he should repent. And I want to assure you whatever God says he will do it. I say come what may as long as you believe it is going to come to pass. Hallelujah. I want to charge your spirit so that you may go in and possess the land. Don't sit there and die. Stop complaining. Stop murmuring. Stop blaming anybody. Stay focused in life. Keep on walking by faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. And we give him a good hand of praise. That is why Hebrews 4 6 says, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 6 says, Sing therefore. It remained that some must enter therein. That is why I'm saying today there are must men and women who are believers to enter into that promised land. You are a part of them. I am a part of them. Then Moses sent the twelve spies to go to the promised land. To go and spy the land which God has spoken to the children of Israel. To go and spy the land of promise. And the Bible says 
the 12 spies went into that land. One of them was Caleb, another one was called Joshua. And the rest, the 10 of them, they are from other tribes. But we are going to major on the good report. And my message today is so simple, whose report are you going to believe? Whose report are you going to believe, my brother and my sister? Because in this message, in this report, there are two reporters. There are reporters, there are two kinds of reporters. There are two kinds of reporters. They are good reporters. And they are bad reporters. It is you to decide which ones are you going to believe. And exactly the ones you believe is what you'll get. Every report has got its own effect. It has its own reward. And the Bible says when they came back, there is one chorus they sang. They say the land is very good. They say the land is very fertile. The land is full of fruits and full of honey and milk. That is a good report. For, from all those ten spies. In other words, they were agreeing with what God said. They were agreeing that the land which they are going into, it is a very good land. They were agreeing with God. And then the Bible says, but they couldn't stop focusing on the negative. Some of them focused their mind on their fears. Especially the ten spies. Instead of focusing on the promises of God, which are yea and amen, instead of focusing their minds on God who is more than able, instead of stopping and saying, yes, the land is good, let us go in and possess the land, they turned around and they started to have what we call a negative attitude. They started to reveal what we call their fears. And the Bible says they started to focus on their fears instead of focusing on the word of God. And the Bible says, they said nevertheless, even though the land is good, even though the land is fertile, even though the land is full of good fruits and honey and milk, they added the wrong words there. And they said nevertheless, Nevertheless, the people be stronger than us, the people dwell there. Remember this, that the ten spies. But Caleb and Joshua never spoke that evil report. But the ten spies said, Nevertheless, when your nevertheless is negative, it will never produce fruits. Let your nevertheless be like the nevertheless of Simon Peter. When he could not understand how they could fish during that daytime. When Jesus told him to launch out into the deep for a drought. And he told Jesus, you don't understand. We have tried the whole night and we have caught nothing. But he never stopped there. The Bible says, nevertheless, according to your word, nevertheless, according to your word, nevertheless, according to your word, to your word when everything has failed, the word of God cannot fail. I want to assure you today, nevertheless, the word 
word of God is forever settled in heaven. The Bible says nevertheless heaven and I shall pass away but the word of God will never pass away. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how empty your boat is. The word of God can fill your boat. I say the word of God can fill your boat. Your life can be beautiful. Your life can be powerful. Your life can be glorious. Hallelujah. Cheer up. Take God by his word. Simon said, nevertheless, according to your word, and I want to assure you, you caught a lot of fish until the boat started sinking. And the Bible says the net started to break. There is power in the word of God. There is power in the word of God. God is behind his word to confirm it. If you dare to believe the word of God, your family will change. Your business will change. Your children will change. Our church will change. Our county will change. Our country will change. Not by might or power, it's by the spirit of God and the word of God. These negative people said, nevertheless, the people be strong who dwell in that land. Remember, they started to talk about giants. They started to talk about the big walls which were surrounding the promised land. And I want to say today, God is greater than the giants and God is greater than the walls you are facing today. Our God is above all. Our God is above all. Paul said we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And I want to assure you we can conquer every giants in the land. I say we can conquer every giants in the land. We can bring down every wall in the name of Jesus. There is no hindrance we can ever bring down. We have the weapons of our warfare which are not carnal. We are mighty through God. And we are going to pull down every stronghold of the devil. I say you are a child of God. Take the weapons of your warfare bring down every wall don't be a negative Christian be a Christian after God's word bring down every giant bring down every wall hallelujah, hallelujah. whose report are you going to believe this guy says we saw the giants we saw the walls in other words, we are not capable to handle them. These people talked about the giants, they talked about the walls. What are you talking about in your life? And I want to assure you, anything you talk will be a part of you soon or later. This is a law you can never break. It is like the law of gravity. You throw up anything, it will come down. Any words you speak will follow you wherever you go. If you speak the word of God, you will see God in abundance. If you speak the words of faith, those words will work for you and they will prosper you. So these people talked about the giants, they talked about the walls. In other words, 
they forgot the promises of God and how God said he will help them. It's so easy to forget what God has said. Especially when we are, we are facing giants and the walls of life. It's so easy to look at your circumstances and your environments when you don't have faith in what God has said. I want to caution you today when facing tough decisions of life don't let negative cause you to lose your sight. Especially to lose your sight on what God has told you and where you are going. And I want to assure you you are going somewhere. Either heaven or hell it is your choice. But God is telling them the promised land is your destination. But you see the Lord sight of the promised land. They lost the sight on what God had told them. I am here to tell you don't allow unbelief and doubt to say to you you can't make it. I am saying it again so that you may get it. Don't allow unbelief. Don't allow doubt. I say don't allow these two enemies to control your family. To control your life. Don't allow unbelief and doubt to tell you you can't. But rather let your faith Look up. Look up to God. And say like Caleb and Joshua. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. can we say yes, we can? Eh? Can we say yes, we can? Can we say yes, we can? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. To say and you You see, you get exactly what you say. Because these guys, they said we can't. I say these guys says we can. not And they couldn't make it. And God did not allow them to make it. But the ones who said yes we can. I want to assure you God supported them a hundred percent. In other words to doubt. And to deny the word of God always constitutes to evil report. The moment you doubt the word of God, the moment you doubt the scriptures, you are saying, I don't believe it. You are a man of, and a woman full of evil report. Before God, you are not good news. Before God, you are bad news. And I don't want to be bad news. I want to be good news. I, want, I don't want to be negative before the presence of God. I want to take God by his word. When these guys were so negative, they brought the evil report. They said we saw the giants and the, the city walls. And they said we can't make it. And they said we can't match them. Caleb stood up and said, Shut up. That is the spirit we are talking about. The spirit of Caleb. The spirit of faith. Don't entertain negative Christianity. Negative confession. Tell them shut up. Let them not talk before you. You are a giant of the word. I say you are a giant of the word. I say you are a giant of faith. You will go in and possess the land. And God is for you who can be against you. Hallelujah. I feel that's where we are supposed to be. I feel those are the guys we need to walk with. The spirit of Caleb. 
royal Caleb. The spirit of Caleb. The spirit of faith. The spirit of courage. The spirit of power. The spirit of saying, let us go in. The spirit which says, let us possess the land. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm sharing to you, I'm also sharing to my spirit. The Bible says Kale spoke the language of faith. I say Caleb stood up and said, Shut up. I know you saw the giants. I know you saw the walls. And also you saw the fruits and the good land. But for me, I'm not going to speak about giants here. I am not going to speak about the walls here. I am going to speak what God says. I am going to say exactly what God says. And he said these words. Let us go up at once. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am speaking to the people who are alive and well. I am speaking to the people who are believers in the word of God. I am speaking to men and women who are going somewhere determined. Come what may you are going to succeed in the name of Jesus. I say come tempest and storms you are going to make it by the grace of God. I want to assure you now your confession is your victory. Amen. Caleb said let us go up and possess the land for we are well able to overcome them. When others are saying we are not able Caleb says we are able. I am a team of Caleb. I am a team of Caleb. Whose team are you? Whose report are you going to believe? Amen. I am in the team of Caleb. I am in the team of the more than conquerors. I am in the team which says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I am in the team which says greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am in the team which says no matter the storms, no matter the tempest, we are not going under, we are going over. Come the storms, come the waves, Jesus is alive. Life and well. Salvation is not lost. Looking unto Jesus is the out and the finish of our faith. Caleb say, Let us go up at once. Let us go in and possess the land. Because the land is before us. And I want to assure you today the land of blessings is before you. The land of your divine health is before you. The land of your prosperity is before you. God will meet you at the point of your every need. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says come to the throne of grace to find grace and mercy to help in times of need. Remember Caleb said because God is on our side we are not going to fail. If God is for us, who can be against us? I want to ask you a question and I want to tell you something. If God is on your side, live about men, live about money, live about prestige, live about popularity. If God Jehovah is with you, who can be against you? Let's give Jesus a good hand. Remember and believe. Remember doubt. Seize difficulties. I said doubt and believe always seize 
difficulties. No wonder the ten spies, because of unbelief and doubt, they saw difficulties. They say they cannot make it. They say it's no use continuing. Let them say. I say let them say. You say what God says. You take God by his word. Hallelujah. When doubt and belief sees difficulties. Faith sees Victory and possibilities. I want to say again the men and women of faith, they don't see difficulties, they see opportunities and difficulties. They understand their faith is their victory. They understand that not all things are possible to them who believe. I am a believer. Are you a believer? Yes, I know you are a believer. And I want to assure you today, go in. I say go in. And possess don't speak about your problems. Talk about the promises of God. Speak about the power of God. Speak about the glory of God. Very soon you are going to make it. Let's give Jesus an applause. Remember Caleb had facts. He had facts. Of what he saw. You cannot speak like Caleb if you have no facts. If you are not a believer in the word. If you are not a believer in the finished work of the cross. If you are not a believer in the blood of Jesus. Caleb had facts. Number one. He had seen the land. Number two, he had the right attitude. He trusted God's promises that God will give them the good land. Number three, he stated clearly what he believed. I hope you are getting this. Because if you don't get it, there is nobody who can help you. Prayers and fasting will not help you. Here it was not a time of praying and fasting. It was a time of taking God by his word. It was a time taking the bull by its horns. It was a battle of belief or from unbelief of faith from fear. It was a battle. It was a warfare. It comes to a time when you have to fight for yourself. It comes to a time when you should take the bull by the horns. And you say, it doesn't matter what happens, I will make it. Have power upon the bulls of life. Have power over the walls of life. I say have power over the giants of the land. Exercise your faith. You are going to make it my brother and my sister. I want to say life is a battle. I say life is a warfare. The Bible says the violent take it by force. Caleb said I'm going in with my wife. Caleb said I'm going in with my children. Caleb said I'm going in with my offspring. And Caleb said nobody will stop me No giants will stop me No wars will stop me Unbelief and doubt will stop me I will take God by his word I challenge you life is all about what you believe Caleb said We can overcome them We are well able That is 
is the statement of faith from brother Caleb. Hiyo ni msemo wa imani kutoka kwa ndugu Caleb. What statement of faith do you have my brother and my sister? Ndugu yangu na dada yangu wewe una msemo gani wa imani? Life is tough and rough. Maisha ni mazito na magumu. And don't play with life. Na usicheze na maisha. Things are not easy these days. Maisha ya mambo sio rais kwizi. It has to take your faith in God to conquer every situation in life. Inakugarimu imani yako ndani ya Mungu ushinda kila hali katika maisha. I want to say no playing around these days. Nasema sikwizi hakuna mchezo. We are not weaklings in the name of Jesus. Sisi wanaoga katika jina la Yesu. The Bible says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his spirit. Biblia inasema kuweni hodari katika Mungu na katika nguvu za roho wake. It's time to sit down and talk about people. Sio wakati wa kukaa chini na kuongea juu ya watu. It's time to sit down and talk about issues. Sio wakati wa kukaa chini na kujadili maswali. It is time to take God by his word. Huu ni wakati wa kumchukua Mungu kati ya roho yake. Set the land before us. Mungu ameweka inchi mbele yetu. Let us rise up and possess the land. Wacha tuinuke na tumiliki hichi. Let us rise up and possess the land. Wacha tuinuke na tumiliki hichi. The Bible says the seed of Abraham will possess the gates of the enemies. Biblia inasema uzao wa Abraham utamiliki milango ya adui. And I want to say we are the seed of Abraham by faith. Nasema sisi ndio uzao wa Ibrahimu kwa imani. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. We are going in. Tunaingia ndani. I say we are going in. Nasema tunaingia ndani. You believe with me? Yes, say yes. Kama unaamini mimi sema ndio. I say say amen. Sema amen. We are going in. Tunaingia ndani. We are the Caleb of today. Sisi ni makalebu wa leo. We believe in Jesus. Tunamwamini Yesu. We believe in the word of God. Tunaliamini na Mungu. We know we are able in the name of Jesus. Tunajua tunaweza katika jina la Yesu. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Biblia inasema tunaweza mambo yote kupitia Kristo na yetutia nguvu. Remember what we say may heavily influence the actions of of those who trust us. Kumbuka tunachosema kinaadhiri matendo ya wale ambao wanatuamini sisi. When we don't give sound advice, we destroy many. Wakati tupeni mawaidha mazuri tunaharibu wengi. The ten spies gave a wrong advice to the children of Israel. Wale wapelelezi kumi walipeana mawaidha mabaya kwa wana wa Israel. And they destroyed so many people with their wrong advice. Na wakaribu watu wengu na mawaidha yao mabaya. I am here like Caleb. Niko hapa kama Caleb. I am here like Joshua. Niko hapa kama Joshua. I want to influence you to go to the promised land. Na ataka ni kuonesho inja katika inchi ya hadi. I want to influence you to believe the word of God. Na ataka ni kuambia uamini ilo la mungu. I want to influence you to believe on the work of the cross. Na ataka ni kuambia uamini ilo la mungu. I want to influence you to believe that there is power in the blood of Jesus. Nataka ni kuadhiri mpaka uamini kuna nguvu katika damu ya Yesu. I want to influence you to tell you this there is a name which is above every name. Nataka kukuadhiri ni kuambia kwamba kuna jina ambalo liko juu ya majina yote. Jesus is the name. Na ile jina ni Yesu. I say Jesus is the name. Nasema ile jina ni Yesu. I say Jesus is the name. Nasema ile jina ni Yesu. Jina ni Yesu. Jina ni Yesu. Call everybody the way you want to call them but the name of victory the name of power the name to help us possess the land is the name of Jesus Christ Nasema wataja watu wengine vile wataka kuwataja lakini jina ambalo litakusaidia kumiliki inchi ni jina la Bwana Yesu Every initial bow Kila gozi tapikwa Every potential confess Kila kiri ukinywa cha Jesus Jesus Christ is Lord Ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ni Bwana As long as you confess him as Lord no situation will drown you Muradi unamkiri kama yeye ni Bwana hakuna hali itakuzamisha Want to say it again Atakurudia As long as you confess him as Lord Muradi unamkiri yeye ni Bwana No demon no will defeat you. No sickness will kill you. No poverty will drown you. No curses will put you down. You are rising up now. In the name of Jesus you are rising up. I say in the name of Jesus you are rising up. You are going in and possessing the land. Hallelujah. Give Jesus an applause. When the children of Israel heard the chorus of despair from the ten spies. Wakati wana wa Israeli walisikia ile wimbo wa kukata tamaa kutoka wale wapelelezi kumi. The Bible says they joined the chorus. Biblia inasema wakaanza kuimba pamoja na wao. When they heard the evil reports. Wakati walisikia ripoti mbaya of the giants. Juu ya majitu of the world city that chorus of despair which came out from the ten spies a tuneless choir there was no harmony 
hakukuwa kwa na unoto no hakuwa na imani there was no commitment hakuwa na kujitana there was no power hakuwa na nguvu there was nothing hakukuwa na kitu chochote the bible says bilina sema and the people cried and wept na watu wakalia na wakaomboleza not the weeping and the crying of victory but it's a weeping and crying of despair haikuwa ni kulia na kuomboleza kwa ushindi bali ulikuwa ni kulia na kuomboleza kwa kukata tamaa their greatest fear was realized hofu yao kubwa ilikuwa inatimia now they started to cry and to weep the weeping of unbelief sasa wakaza kulia na kuomboleza kulia na kuomboleza kwa kutokuwa that is very dangerous hiyo ni hatari sana i say that is very dangerous nasema hiyo ni hatari how many of you have joined the evil report and instead of refusing using the devil's report and believing the word of god's report you have joined crying and weeping because of unbelief ni wangapi wenyu badala ya kukubaliana na ripoti ya mungu we umekubaliana ile ripoti ya mbaya na umeanza kulia na kuomboleza here we see it was a shout of despair hapa tunaona ilikuwa ni kupaza sauti kwa kukata tamaa it was a shout of defeat ilikuwa ni sauti ya kushindwa and i want to assure you today we are not in the army of failures we are not in the army of shouting defeat we are in the army of david shouting victory in the name of jesus christ sisi tuko katika ile jeshi ya kushindwa tuko katika jeshi ya ya Daudi ambao tunapaza sauti ya ushindi. I say we are in the army of David. Nasema tuko katika jeshi ya Daudi. We are in the army of Jesus Christ. Tuko katika jeshi ya Bwana Yesu. We are not going over the down, we are crossing over. Hatuteremke tunavuka. Success is our blessing. Ufanisi ni baraka zetu. Victory is our blessing. Ufanisi ni baraka zetu. See the Bible says they lost their perspective focus and they forgot what they had seen God do. Unajua Bibi linasema kwamba walipoteza mwelekeo yao na wakasahau kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa amefanya. I say they forgot their perspective. Nasema walipoteza mwelekeo wao. Wakapoteza mwelekeo. They turn their eyes from God to their problems. Wakatoa matoo kutoka kwa Mungu wakaeka kwa hali yao. They started to say what the enemy was saying and the false brothers and sisters were saying. Wakaanza kusema kile adui alikuwa anasema na maandugu na wadada wa uongo. Here you see it's very dangerous. Hapo unaona ni hatari. They forgot the time they had used from the land of Egypt. Wakasahau ile wakati walikuwa wametoka katika nchi ya Misri. Huo muda wote. They forgot the time. Wakasahau huo muda wote. All the time. Huo muda wote. All the struggles. Ile kungangana yote. All the walking. Ile kutembea yote. All the sweating. Ile kutoa jasho yote. All the everything. Kila kitu chote. Because of the giants and the wall city they forgot kwa sababu ya majitu na ule mmoja ambao ulikuwa unaukuta wakasahau yote they forgot the time they used to come from the land of egypt wakasahau ule wakati walitoka katika nchi ya misri and even they forgot the energy used to come this far hata wakasahau ile nguvu walikuwa wametumia kukuja umbali huu does it sound familiar sasa je unaona hiyo ni kawaida ni kitu unajua How many people you know where you came from? Ni wangapi wengi watu wangapi? You know what God did for you. Unajua kile Mungu alikufanya. You know how God fought for you. Unajua vile Mungu alikupigania. But you have come to a place. Lakini umefika mahali. You have put the pot down. Umeweka mtungi tu. You have broken the pot on the dust. Umefika mlangoni umevunja mtungi nyungu hapo. You have been carrying the water from the river. Na umebeba maji kutoka mtungi. You have climbed the mountains and the valleys with the pot on your head. Umepe umepanda milima na mabonde na ukiwa na hiyo nyungu kwa hiyo nyungu umebeba una fry. Na hiyo nyungu umebeba una fry. Very happy saying my children are going to drink water. Una fry ukisema watoto wangu watakunywa maji. I am going to use this water to make to make to make food and meal. Nitatumia maji kutengeneza chakula. Then like Jairus. Sasa kama Jairus. You hear bad news askia habari mbaya that the ones who were expecting to be alive is dead ya kwamba ule ulikuwa anatarajia kuwa hai amekufa he was about to throw in the towel alikuwa karibu kutupa towel ndani he was about to entertain fear alikuwa karibu kukubaliana na he was about to entertain unbelief alikuwa karibu kukubaliana na hali ya kutokwa but Jesus stood in lakini Yesu akasimama and he said Jairus akasema Jairus only believe waamini tu fear not usiogope and i'm here to tell you only believe and don't fear the report of the devil you are going somewhere even that which is dead is coming back to life again. Niko hapa kukuambia usiogope, waamini ya beribari ya Yesu na hata kile kimekufa kitafufuka. It is not over until Jesus said it's over. Itakwisha mpaka Yesu aseme imekwisha. And Jesus will never say it's over. According to your faith, it is going to come back double for your trouble. Na Yesu hawezi kusema imekwisha kulingana na imani yako utaripo mara mbili. You see these guys forgot. Unajua watu walisahau. The time and the energy they used all the way. Ule wakati na nguvu zote walitumia hiyo njia yote. And did you know what they said? Na unajua walisema nini? Who God that we had died in Egypt. Tafadhali tungekufa Misri. 
How many times have you said hata kwa changai kwa mbaya? Yaani wakati mara ngapi umesema hata afadhali uko kwa changai kwa mbaya? You look at your past life and yet God has brought you this far and then you admire your own life that is very dangerous. Yaani unaangalia maisha yako zamani na Mungu amekuleta mbali uta baadaye unaanza kuitamani. And because of what you are going through you all desire those old friends let them die forget about them. Go to your destiny, go to your promised land. Kwa sababu ya shida zako sasa unaweza kutamani marafiki wako wa zamani watana nao enda kwa hatima yako you are all is dead ile ya zamani imekufa you came out of egypt full stop ulitoka misri kwisha red sea came back and you'll never cross again ile bahari ya misri kashikana haukuvuka tena you see they said will god that we had died in egypt unajua alisema afadhali tungekufa misri and they said will god will we had died in the wilderness unajua alisema tafadhali tungekufa jangwani did you know they got exactly what they said je unajua walipata kile walisema exactly walipata hicho walisema they never died in egypt hawakufa misri but they died in the wilderness lakini walikufia jangwani they got exactly what they said walipata kile walisema remember the entire generation which came from the land of egypt they all died because of believing the evil report kizazi chote ambacho kilitoka kilitoka katika nchi ya misri walikufa wote jangwani kwa sababu ya kuamini ripoti mbaya. And that is why I'm asking you whose report are you going to believe? Ndio sababu nakuuliza leo ripoti ya nani utaamini? Please don't drown your family. Tafadhali usijamishe jamii yako. Don't drown your health. Usijamishe afya yako. Don't drown your prosperity and success. Usijamishe kufaulu na ufanisi wako. By believing an irrevocable report. Kwa sababu ya kuamini ripoti mbaya. That is why Isaiah 53 says. Ndio sababu Isaiah 53 inasema. Whose report will you believe? Utaamini ripoti ya nani? Whose report are you going to believe? Utaamini ripoti ya nani? the report of calvary or the report of hell so utaamini report of calvary ama report ya kuzimu remember god had protected these people 40 years in the wilderness kumbuka mungu alikuwa amelinda hao watu miaka 40 wakiwa changwani i mean 40 years in the wilderness fully protected na kuambia miaka 40 wamelindwa sawa sawa i say 40 years protected by god na sema miaka 40 wamelindwa na mungu and they were clothed for 40 years na walivishwa na mungu miaka 40 no changing raiment hakuna kubadilisha mavazi the clothes grew with their bodies ya kuambia mavazi ilikuwa na mili yao and the shoes grew with their feet na viatu vikamea na mili yao that is enough miracle to prove to you god can do anything anytime anywhere and you are about to go to your inheritance na kuambia ni mungu Jesus atosha kusema kwamba Mungu anaweza kufanya jambo lolote wakati wote mahali popote na unaenda katika muujiza wako. I am here to encourage you. Niko hapa nikutia moyo. Take the last step of faith. Chukua hatua ya mwisho ya imani. Enter into your promised land. Ingia katika nchi yako ya hadi. Make the promises of God practical for your family for your life Zifanyishe ahadi za Mungu kwa kweli katika jamii yako na katika maisha yako Refuse to rebel against the word of God Refuse to rebel against the servants of God and refuse to reject the word of God Kataa kuasi watumishi wa la Mungu na kataa kuwapinga watumishi wa Mungu I say refuse Nasema kataa As long as they're preaching the word of God take call of them and keep on walking you are going somewhere Muradi wanahubiri nao la Mungu washika mkono tembea na wao na unaelekea mahali These guys were coming to the last step of entering to the promised land what made them stop and not progress is one thing it is unbelief it is fear i say it is unbelief and fear that is why hebrews chapter 4 says let us there for fear least As a promise being left us of entering into the his rest. Manelo hadi kuingia katika pumziko yake ndani. And you should seem to come short of it. Yoyote asije akapunguka. Because the promise is there. Maana hadi iko. The promise is there to enter into your promised land. Ile hadi kuingia katika nchi hadi iko. It's not all about the children of Israel. Sio juu ya wana wa Israeli. It is also about you about me. Ni juu yako na juu yangu. The promise has remained. Ile hadi imebaki. Which has remained for us. Ambayo imebaki kwa ajili yetu. That we must enter into that promised land. Ya kwamba lazima tuingie katika nchi ya hadi. Then the Bible says Na baadaye Biblia inasema And was was the gospel preached as unto them Maana kwetu injili imehubiriwa kama vile ilihubiriwa kwao And was the gospel was preached Kwetu sisi injili imehubiriwa God preached the gospel to the children of Israel and what was the gospel the promised land was the gospel Mungu akahubiria wana injili wa wana wa Israeli injili na hii injili kwako ni nchi ya ahadi 
Amen. What is the gospel? It is not dying. It is not poverty. It is not going to a land of wilderness. The Bible says the gospel was the promised land. The gospel was honey. The gospel was milk. The gospel was fruits. And I want to assure you, grasshoppers will never eat fruits. That one I want to tell you now, Grossapa's spirit will never eat fruits. Will we'll never drink milk. Will never possess the land. But the spirit of faith, I say the spirit of faith, Amen. Maziwa tutakunywa na asali tutalamba. Maziwa tutakunywa amen. Na asali tutalamba amen. That is what we are talking about. Hiyo ndio tunaongea juu yake. The ones who said they look like grasshoppers exactly they became grasshoppers. Wale waliosema tunaonekana kama panzi kweli walifanyika panzi. And God said panzis don't go in here. Na Mungu akasema hapa panzi asingi. Giants of faith. I say giants of faith. In this house and wherever you are, are you a giant of faith? Amen. Or you are crawling through life. Or you, are a, you have a gift of complaining and murmuring. I want to assure you will never make it. God will, will never back you up. He never backed the 10 spies of evil report. He never backed them. He led them down in the wilderness. Not because God chose. But they, they chose. They didn't want to believe God. I ask you in the name of Jesus. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe in the Lord God Almighty and you shall be established. Let us labor there for to enter into the rest. Let us labor. Hallelujah. Let us labor. Let us labor. I say let us labor. Labor coming to the church early. Labor reading the Bible. Labor going to the Bible study. I say labor doing the work of God. Labor, labor. Fanya bidi. Nasema fanya bidi kufanya kasi ya mungu. Amen. The Bible says here, let us labor thereof. To enter into the rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. The same example. The same example of the children of Israel. They fell. They never entered in. Because of unbelief. Let us not enter the same trap. Because it can happen. And I've seen it happening to many people. Who just removed their eyes from the cross. And they put on their circumstances. They never went far. They never succeeded. They never prospered. You are sitting there. Take the word of God. Apply the word of God. Be a genuine believer. Don't doubt God's ability to fulfill his word. In your life. God is able to handle small issues in your life. And he's able to handle the big issues in your life. And the frustrating situation in your life. I assure you God of heaven through Jesus Christ is able to handle it. Any tough decisions you are trying to make in life, God will side up with you and will make you make a good decision. So don't stop trusting God. Because you are ready to enter into your goal. You are about to reach your goal. You are about to reach your promised land. You are about to drink the milk. You are about to taste the honey. You are about to enter into your land. You are about to succeed. You are about to prosper. You are about to be somebody in love. 
kukua mtu katika maisha you are about to enter in nasema umekaribia kuingia ndani you are about to become what god intended you to be umekaribia kufanyika kile mungu alitaka uwe it doesn't depend on god hey mtegemei mungu it depends on you inakutegemea wewe trust in god and do good mtumainie bwana na utende mema and the bible says you shall dwell in the land and surely you shall be fed na biblia inasema utadumu katika inchi na hakika utalishwa god had brought this people this far mungu alikuwa ameleta hao watu umbali huu and god has brought us this far na mungu ametuleta umbali huu i say god has brought us this far nasema mungu ametuleta umbali huu not to destroy us sisi hatuwaribu not to kill us sisi hatuwe not to drown us sisi hatuzamishe i say god has brought us this far not to be frustrated nasema mungu ametuleta umbali huu atutuvunje moyo god has brought us this far so that he may glorify himself mungu ametuleta umbali huu apate kuishukuru god has brought us this far to glorify I send Jesus Christ. Sema Mungu ametuleta umbali huu apate kumtukuza mwana wake Yesu. And I want to encourage you. Nataka nikutie moyo. You are a child of the king. Wewe ni mwana wa mfalme. You are a child of God. Wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. You are a child of the cross. Wewe ni mwana wa msalaba. You have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Umekombolewa na damu ya dhamana ya Yesu. You are no longer nobody. Wewe sio mtu tena bure. You are not a useless person. Wewe sio mtu bure. You are not Ichabod. Wewe sio Ichabod. The glory of God is upon you. Utukufu wa Mungu kwa juu yako. Jesus is the glory of God. Yesu ndio utukufu wa Mungu. Jesus is the power of God. Yesu ndio nguvu za Mungu. Jesus is the beauty of God. Yesu ndio urembo wa Mungu. We are the bride of Jesus Christ. Sisi ni boi ya harusi wa Bwana Yesu. Na sema sisi ni bibi ya harusi wa Kristo. Sisi ni bibi ya Yesu wa Kristo. Ana turembesha na tupamba. Ana turembesha na tupamba. And is making us according to the fashion of heaven. Na anatutengeneza kulingana na mtindo wa mbinguni. And we will never fail. Na tutashinda. I say God is taking care of his church. Na sema Mungu anashughulikia kanisa lake. The Bible says God is building his church. Bila na sema Mungu anatenga kanisa lake. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Si malango ya kuzimu itaishinda. Aichalishi milango ya kuzimu inatoka mashariki, inatoka magharibi, inakoka kaskazini. Nataka kusema leo kama wewe ni sehemu ya mwili wa Kristo, hautashindwa na milango ya kuzimu. Amen. Utaingia ndani na utakunywa maziwa. Utaingia ndani utaonja asali. Matunda ni sehemu yako. Mashamba mazuri ni sehemu yako. Amen. Usipatie shetani nafasi, usipatie ripoti mbaya nafasi, chukua Mungu kwa neno lake. Amen. Hallelujah. Simama piga Yesu makofi mazuri. Makofi na changwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. David said bless the Lord oh my soul. Na Dawidi akasema muhimidi Bwana e nafsi yangu. Na Bwana within me. Na vyote vilivyo ndani yangu. Bless the holy name of God. Libariki jina la Bwana. And David said. Na baadaye Dawidi akasema. Oh give at all your sins. Ana kusamea dhambi zako zote. Oh let all your trespasses. Ana kuponya magonjwa yako. Oh let all your sicknesses. Ana kuponya magonjwa yako. Oh deliver at your soul from destruction. Ana komboa roho yako toka kwa dhambi. Oh use your strength like an eagle. Ana fanya nguvu zako mpya kama ta And I want to say now you are the eagles of the Lord mount up and enter into your promised land. Nasema nyinyi ni matai wa Bwana paa juu mlo ufike katika nchi yako ya Anza kupaa. Anza kupaa. Wacha kungangana. Wacha kungangana. Wacha kulalamika. Wacha kulalamika. Wacha kununungunika. Wacha kununungunika. Hapana angalia chini. Hapana angalia chini. Hapana angalia mazingira. Hapana angalia mazingira. Hapana angalia nyabati. Hapana angalia Hapana angalia osea. Hapana angalia jamii. Weka macho kwa hadhi za Mungu. Amen. Weka macho kwa nchi ya Canaan. Amen. Weka macho kwa nchi Asali. Weka macho kwa nchi ya maziba. Wewe na jamii yako mnaenda kuingia ndani na mtabarikiwa wakubali wasikubali. Amen. Haleluya. 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 Umetoka mbali sana kuachiwa njiani. Praise the Lord. Ndoa ya sisi na Yesu ni ya milele. Amen. Hata vikwazo vija tutaendelea. Hata tabu zija tutaendelea. Maana mkubwa ni yule aliye ndani yetu kuliko yule aliye duniani. Nataka nikwambie Mungu achoe upande wetu. Nana anaweza kuwa kinyume chetu. Hakuna. Hajatuleta imbali tuwe viwete. Hajatuleta imbali tuuze kahovyo. Next week nitakushangaza. Kuna watu hapa mtaingia kwa hadhi zenu wakubali wasikubali. Amen. Umevumilia vya kutosha. Umeomba vya kutosha. Umetoa vya kutosha. Umekuwa mtakatifu vya kutosha. Juma ijayo usikose hii. Itakutoa juu ya viti. Nasema itakutoa juu ya viti. Amen. Ulete tightening belts. Yeah. Ulete mishipi. Mishipi ya kukaza. Ya kukaza. <laughs> Maana tunaenda ku take off. 
I told you we are entering the same phase of this ministry. And I want to say it's not a joke. I say we are not jokers here. Say this is what we are doing. We are doing it with God. We are doing it with God. And we are doing it with God. Amen. And I will tell you that we are going to be in the church of Caleb. Praise the Lord. We are going to be in the church of Caleb. We are going to be in the church of Caleb. Mwambie mwenzako Mungu akusaidie. Mungu akusaidie. And I want to finish with this. You are at the border of your promised land. I say you are at the border of your promised land. I say you are at the border. I say you are at the border. I say you are at the border. Uko ukingoni. Ama uko mipakani. Uko katika mupaka wenti yako ya hati. Sasa next Sunday. Jumapili itai. Tunaingia ofisi ya immigration ya kiroho. Amen. Shetani atachango nyukiwa milele. Shetani atachango nyukiwa milele. The walls will fall down. Kuta zitanguka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The giants will flee. Majitu atatoroka. And they will leave us our inheritance. Heritage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They came at the border. At the border. Where they are supposed to be cleared. Next Sunday we are going to clear people here. Next Sunday we are going to clear people here. I say we are going to clear people here. Amen. I am going to put on my gloves. I am going to put on my gloves. Ni tafa gloves zangu. To declare you in or out. Ni kutangazo inje ndani ya mainche. If you are a believer, I will declare you in. Kama ni mwamilia tatangazo inje ndani. And what I declare, it will happen. Na kile tatangaza kitafanika. Call to all job. Mungu akamambia yo. Declare a thing. Tangaza kitu. And it shall come to pass. Na kita tokea. Sunday, we are going to declare the blessings of God, the miracles of God, the inheritance of God. We are going to clear people here to enter into their promised land. Jumapili tunenda kutangaza baraka za Mungu miujiza ya Mungu na tunenda kutangaza watu waingie ndani. You are going to jump like a like a sheep. Tutairuka ruka kama mwana kondoo. You are going to jump like that man at the beautiful temple. Tutaruka kama mwana mtu alikuwa katika ile mlango mzuri. And you are going to walk. Na utatembea. You are going to walk to your blessings. Utatembea kuelekea kwa baraka zako. You are going to walk to inheritance. Utatembea kwenda kwa urithi wako. You are going to look at the people who despised you. Utaangalia watu waliokudharau. Tell them the legs. Na uoneshe miguu. Tell them now you can walk. And then you can jump. And then you can run. And then you can praise the Lord. And then you can praise the Lord. I say we are the board of our blessings. We are about to enter in. I say we are about to enter in. Oh, come on, 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 Next Sunday, don't miss it. Clearance. I said to us next Sunday we are having a department of clearing and forwarding. If men and women can clear people and forward them, why can't the church and the ministers of the gospel clear people and forward them into the promised land? Kama waka na ume wapa duniano waneza kuklia na kuforward. Mbona wa uduma wa injiri wa sikile watu na kuforward kwa barakaza. Go tell Moses. Mungu kamambia Musa. Don't stop crying. Wata kulia. I have cleared you. Mimi nima kuklia. Go through the Red Sea. Wea pita bari ya Sunday. Go to the promised land. Sunday is a Sunday of clearance. Sunday is a Sunday of going forward. Sunday ni Sunday ya kuklia. Sunday ni Sunday ya kwena mbele. And we are not going back to the wilderness. Naturudi jagwani. Haturudi jikani tena. Aturudi jangwani tena. Aturudi kwa magonjo tena. Aturudi kwa magonjo tena. Aturudi kwa kukosea tena. Amen. Aturudi kwa mangaiko tena. Amen. Jusema aturudi tena. Aturudi tena. Usiwe katikati ya wale kumi wana amini ripoti mbaya. Amini kile bishopoka na kuambia utaingia. Amen. Inuwa mikono juu usukuru mungu utaingia. Thank you Lord. Muambia kutoka nani ya moyo wako. Tell him exactly. 
you are a part of the team of Caleb. Tell him exactly you are a believer. You are focused in this journey. I say you are focused to Melenga. You are looking unto Jesus. You are a part of those people who have remained to enter into the rest of God. Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace upon my life. Thank you for the grace upon this altar. Thank you for your grace upon your children here. I cover your children now. I cover them with your word. I cover them with your promises. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. We are about to enter in. Nothing can stop us. The Lord is for us. Who can be against us? We declare we are more than conquerors. We confess that we are more than able. In the name of Jesus, I cover every brother here. I cover every sister here with the blood of Jesus. And you devil battle. You powers of darkness. On Docker, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. These are the redeemed of the Lord. Redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. In Jesus' name, I declare you blessed. I declare you healed. I declare you free. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Open your eyes, look at me. I say open your eyes and look at me. God was speaking about you. I say you. Nasema wewe. You. Nasema wewe. There is a person sitting seat number 38 here. Who is he or she? Kiti cha nana haraka kidogo. Raise up your hand. Walk forward. Kuja hapa mbele. Walk saying thank you, Jesus. I say walk saying thank you, Jesus. I say raise up your hands and continue to say thank you, Jesus. God showed me number 38. I was thinking God showed me number 38. That person. You are going to change from today. What you have been praying for is coming. No devil will sit on you. Amen. Amen. God has told me I am going to come here. Amen. 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 Go back and thank God for your miracle. Hallelujah. Of late, I'm starting to see things. <laughs> and this is one of them. Yeah, and I want to thank God they are good things. And our God is about to do something. The anointing is here. To set us free. I say the anointing is here. To break every yoke. To break every bondage. In Jesus name. And I declare you free. And get the best from God. In Jesus name.
give you glory and honor today. Today, Lord, is a great day. It's a day of good news. Lord God Almighty, we have heard your word, and we choose to believe your report. We choose to believe, Lord, your promises. We choose to believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Today, we thank you because we are entering into our rest. You are causing us, Lord, to enter in. Thank you for your giving us power, Lord, even to overcome and to defeat every spirit of doubt and fear in the name of Jesus. Today we declare that we are blessed with faithful Abraham. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing that pertaineth to godliness 
us unto this life. We thank you, Lord, that we are blessed when we go out and when we come in. We are blessed, Lord, when we sit down and when we rise up. In the city, we are blessed. In the countryside, we are blessed. The seed of our womb is blessed. The work of our hands is blessed. Yes, Lord, and every place that our feet shall tread upon, even that place is blessed, and you will give it to us. We thank you for the county of Nakuru is blessed, because, Lord, we are the inhabitants of this county, and we are blessed, Lord, and we are resisting every force of evil. We are resisting every curse in the name of Jesus, for we are strong and we are mighty. Oh, we are great in the Lord, and your promises for us are great. We are prospering in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for even our land. The nation of Kenya is blessed. For, Lord, we are here as the shining stars. We are here, Lord, shining for Jesus. And darkness can never comprehend. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for your blessings are making us rich. And they are adding no sorrow to us. We are a joyful people. We are a happy people. We are a cheerful people. Lord, because your blessings, hallelujah, have made us rich. And Lord, every sorrow has been replaced. Every fear has been replaced. Every doubt has been replaced. And our cups are running over. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Be exalted and be magnified and use your people as you please, Lord. Even as you used Abraham and you told him that you are going to make his name great and you will make him a blessing. You will bless him and make him a blessing. Lord, do the same for your church through Jesus Christ the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless us as we leave this place and go with us wherever we shall go. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name, we believe and trust. Amen. Amen.